Hey guys, Chris Parocci here. Welcome to my channel. This is the last episode of my Squire Base refinishing and upgrading series. If you missed the first six episodes, it's crazy, I know, it's a long series. If you missed them, I'll put the links in the description box under this video. And um, I guess it makes more sense to watch those first before you watch the last one. Unless you're impatient and you just wanna see an assembly and uh, playing of a base that looks crazy. In the last episode, I finished relicking the refinished body. I will assemble everything. I will put the base back together. And the first thing I will definitely have to do is uh, replace the nut. It's a cheap plastic nut, you know, like an original Squire, whatever. Plastic nut on the base and I want to have a bone nut. I don't have the tools here at home. And um, for that reason, I will go in the workshop where I normally work, even though I have off day today. This is a parchment pig guard, which uh, was a you know a raw pig guard. I had to cut it out and shape it. It turned out pretty good. Also, this one fits perfectly to the base because it's based on the original pig guard on the squire. This is parchment, which is nice, but it's you know in some light conditions it looks just white. So I thought I will go over it with uh, my vintage tint clear coat. What I'm hoping of that is that it will look a little more sort of yellowish, like sort of older, which fits better to the base.
I am so close to the end of this project. It's almost scary, actually. I, I need to do the wiring and um, then I'm good to go. Which parts I'm using in the electronics? These are Emerson 250K custom pots, which are high quality selected potentiometers. I'm also using an Emerson capacitor for the tone knob, which is a 0.047. I'm using all parts, uh, vintage cloth cables. I think I'll use this old Switchcraft jack, which is from a 79 Strat. It looks beaten up, but if it still works, why not having a little bit of a proper vintage vibe, you know, with all that rally going on and everything. So what I'm doing here is pretty much a standard jazz bass wiring, which was pretty much the original wiring too on this space. I have the capacitor on the tone pot and I have the grounding. Normally, you put a piece of cloth or something, like a t-shirt, something between the body and the pig guard, obviously. But since the base is relict, Can't believe it closes, it fits in. I was worried about the cavity because it's really narrow and I had to widen it on three uh, spots already. I was really afraid of having the same issue again. It fits. I hope there's no short circuits anywhere. Let's close this baby. Let's put on a jack and let's plug it in. actually pretty emotional moment. I honestly cannot believe that I'm sitting here with my finished base. <laughs> I started this project in uh, I think it was July and uh, now it's like end of November. It's crazy. It's been a long project but um, I'm totally happy with the result to be honest. By the way, I'm running a very non-basis setup, 
so um, keep that in mind. And also, I'm not a bass player, so sorry for that. Um, I'm going with the bass straight into the Rev Dynamo 740. I'm on a clean channel, which is a very versatile and very nice clean channel. That goes straight into the Oxbox, Universal Audio Oxbox, which um, gives me two channels to record. One channel is just a direct out. So that's pretty much like um, if the Rev had a direct out and that's my DI signal. And the other channel, um, it's hard panned so I can separate them in the mix. Uh, the other channel is uh, Baseman 4x10 cab simulation with a ribbon 1 to 1 uh, mic in front of it. Julia, will you play my bass? Yes! <laughs> Fun fact, the jack and the screws for the pickguard are from a 71, no, 79 Stratocaster. Someone just wanted me to throw them away and I told like, no, I will keep them. And he told like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you do, whatever you want with it. So I did. I really, really hope you enjoyed this series. I had serious ups and downs. I have two more little things to do, but that's not worth filming. I need to install the uh, strap pins, both they're missing, they're somewhere, I need to find them, you know, and also the, uh, the jack plate. This is a golden jack plate because the original one, which was chrome, is uh, gone. <laughs> I don't know where it is, maybe it's still at Andy's place, maybe it's somewhere here in my junk, here, you know, in one of the drawers or boxes. I am so happy with the bass, it turned out really well. It's been always a good bass, but now it's just even more my bass. It has all the mojo, it looks 
weird. You guys have fun, have uh, a nice time. I'll be back with other videos, but for now I do not want to see a sanding paper for a couple of months. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and we'll see each other very soon. Cheers guys. <laughs>